Hey, what's up, everybody? Fred Minnick here. And today I'm going to review Chicken Cock uh, Double Oak Kentucky Whiskey. Now, a couple things. Double Oak is a, you know, prominently growing category. Double Oak toasted. That's what people want. I have been a big fan of the category. I love well-toasted uh, secondary barrels. I love double oak barrels. And I give this story all the time, but when I had my wisdom teeth pulled, the only thing that I could taste for like a month was uh, Woodford Reserve Double Oak. So ever since then, I've been a huge fan of the category. Now, uh, the naming of it and and everything, that that's a whole different ball of wax. Not a big fan of uh, you know secondary barrels being used and bourbon still being on there. But this isn't a bourbon, folks. This is a Kentucky whiskey. Very different than bourbon, which means it can go into used barrels. So this is eight years old, and it's coming into the market at um, it's coming in the market at ninety nine dollars, hundred dollars. Now, one other thing to note: this is a new product, and they did enter my spirits competition, and they won a double platinum. So this is my little trophy here. This is actually the gold. The platinum is platinum color. And um, so they won one of these, and they did really well. They scored very highly in my spirits competition called the American Spirits Council of Tasters, the Ascots. If you want to see who, you know, who did what, I've got a link in the description so you can see how that went. But we had more than 1,100 entries this year, so very exciting stuff. But so to get to the tasting, Chicken Cock is a uh, kind of a famous brand from the 1800s. You know, back then, you know, fighting fighting chickens was like uh, baseball in America. Uh, that is what people did. They went to chicken fights, and uh, they called them cock fights. And so, chicken cock was like a was like a like a prize name, and it was such a prize name that people tried to copy it. And there's a lot of lawsuits around it. But this was one of the major brands of the 1800s. It kind of lost its um, kind of lost its luster, lost its appeal to people, of course. But this was resurrected by um, the company Grain and Barrel. So they brought back uh, chicken cock, and really, the original packaging, or close to the original packaging, and you cannot but be. Well, I about uh, I about lost that cork, huh? There you go. You cannot but be impressed, but look at that. I mean, it's really nice, ornate design there. Um, it, you know, people are gonna frat boy out over the uh, over the chicken cock name, but just so you know, it has nothing to do with the male anatomy and everything to do with a chicken fighting another chicken. So that being said, let us taste the whiskey. Man, you know, I'm always talking about how I'm sensitive to oak. But I'll tell you right now, there's not a bomb of oak here. And that's the thing about these double oak products is it seems to take away the best of that second barrel versus um, versus like tapping into the depths of it and getting like the crusty... Uh, tannic parts of the barrel like this smells amazing <sighs> so dried apricot a little bit of peanut shell there touch of spice not quite sure what spice that is floral like a dandelion kind of thing well oh, makes me want to taste it So this is coming in a 92 proof. It's completely coating my palate. Um, it's lighting up a lot of sweetness on there. I'm picking up some bitterness like tobacco, some leather. It's curling up underneath my tongue, hitting the back of my palate, making me feel very spicy, very warm, like cinnamon, like a cinnamon red hot note here. There's a, uh, a lot of vanilla. I 
I'd even say some brown sugared beans. You know, so you got the brown sugar, but you also got kind of like the earthiness of the beans. But just a really, really amazing pour. Um, feels amazing on the palate. I love the way it feels in my tongue. Like it, it it's it's populating the, the tip of my palate, the middle, the back, curling up underneath, tickling the roof of my palate just a little bit. And it finishes very, lo very long. Like I'm still feeling it on my palate. It feels very nice. Now, if if this thing has a flaw, it's that, you know, it's got some fruit to it. It's got some spice. Uh, it's got a little bit of, it's got some vanilla there. I would say the vanilla dissipates after you first taste it. It's that it's not overly complicated. But this is, um, this is a very good very 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 good whiskey and it is a whiskey it's not a bourbon and it is really just highlighting so many parts of my tongue but keeping it very simple to what i'm tasting so i taste fruit i taste vanilla uh, but it's not making me go down a path of like oh what is that i mean i know instantly what these flavors are and i like them but i do think that if, if you are somebody where you expect it to be like snap, crackle, pop on your palate, this this is not going to be for you. But this this would become an everyday sipper in my home. Um, now, the price point of $100 may prevent it from becoming an everyday sipper. And that in itself is kind of the state of the market. But is it worth $100? I mean, given what's out there, it's probably better than 75% of the products that are coming out new at 200. So this is this is very tasty. And if you are a double oak fan, if you're a toasted fan, uh, this is right up your alley. But if you're someone that everything's got to be cash strength, you know this. You know this is 92 proof. And I applaud Chicken Cock for not coming out with cash strength with this because it is very good just as it is but i am curious as what it would taste like as a at cash strength but uh that's going to do it for this tasting video i highly 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 recommend this and for those who have been asking for more scores from me you know without me tasting it three times uh i uh, firmly give this a 92 so very very tasty pour and um yeah Chicken cock, you did a good job with this one. Cheers, y'all. Be safe out there. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used to clean up a dead cat. Cheers.